Our goal with these videos is to show you the exciting and vibrant vegan scene from all over the world. And Chiang Mai is no exception. Some people say that Chiang Mai is the best city in the world for vegans. But does it live up to that level of hype? Let's find out. We had our first meal at Chada, a simple, neat, no fuss restaurant. The mango smoothie was perfect for a hot day. The stir fried veggies were simple and tasty. The masaman curry was exceptional. It was savory, spicy, sweet, and tangy all at once. Everything was in perfect harmony and we loved it. One of the best parts of traveling is that we get to try out local food. We cherish this aspect of our travels the most. This wouldn't have been possible even a few years back. The Thai curry pastes would probably have shrimp and let's not even get started with the broths. But the increased interest in the vegan movement has changed this. It's convinced local chefs and restaurants to direct their huge talents into making plant-based deliciousness. It's incredible. For dinner, we went to this amazing night market. V Secret is a vegan stall that serves up local Thai food. The corn fritters looked great and were perfectly fried. The sausage was my favorite. It's inspired by a pork-based sausage made in North Thailand. It was so flavorful. And one more example of that same local talent for flavor and texture, shining in a new way. The Burmese tea leaf salad was delicious. In an age where it can feel like you have tried everything, this salad has a flavor that feels so earthy and so unique. Lala Ice Cream Shop had a khao soy flavor that tasted exactly like khao soy. And it wasn't bad? I can't explain this. We got a scoop of toffee coconut. We love ice cream and we loved our time at the night market. If you are enjoying this video, please hit the like button. That really helps a small channel like ours. We ended the meal with a pizza at Rad Rabbit. The pizza was good, but the cheese was too greasy and the crust was a bit wobbly. We were quite full by this point and it felt like we didn't give this place a fair shot. Next morning, we had a lovely iced coffee at Living a Dream. The coffee shop is located in the University of Chiang Mai and has a beautiful view of the reservoir. This place makes for an excellent walk if that's something that you like. The vegan scene has advanced more in the West than the East, but even in Asia, you can confidently go into most coffee shops and expect vegan milk options. For lunch, we headed to the highly rated Good Souls Cafe. This place is very impressive. They have a huge menu and a wide variety of desserts. Vidhi had an aubergine and hummus wrap. Good souls sourced their veggies straight from their farm and every salad was such a treat. The wrap was massive and the fried aubergine tasted so good. It's the first time we've had it in a wrap like this. I had a khao soy inspired burger. The patty was great. The produce was so fresh and the in-house cheese slice really tied everything together. This award-winning burger lived up to the hype. We highly recommend Good Souls for a good meal. For dinner, we went to the Reform Cafe, which is run by the same folks as Good Souls. The menu is quite similar, but Reform has fewer options. This place is known for its beautiful outdoor garden seating. The rice crackers topped with pesto mushroom were unique and super tasty. The avocado crostini was absolutely loaded with cream cheese. The cream cheese was made in-house and it was excellent. We followed this meal with a drag show called Secret. What an incredible vibe and performance. The talent on show was just outrageous. This was one of our highlights in Chiang Mai. We loved our first meal at Chada and we visited them again the next day. We tried the banana smoothie this time and it was nice. We loved the fried rice. We were craving something simple and fulfilling and this absolutely nailed it. How much we love our food has so much to do with our expectations. And it's magical when the food matches up with what was in our head. The Thai green curry was enjoyable in the exact same way. 
perfectly balanced, wholesome, and delicious. For dinner, we were back to good souls for our final meal in Chiang Mai. We had their Burmese tea leaf salad, which was very tasty. We love this unique dish here and at the night market. You should definitely check it out. We also had a pasta with their in-house ricotta. Their other cheeses were definitely better. We ended the meal at Good Souls with a chocolate shake to go. The shake was amazing, and the coconut whipped cream on top was so good. We enjoyed both our meals here. So, is Chiang Mai the best city in the world for vegans? No, it's probably not the best city in Thailand for vegans. But still, just look at all this wonderful food made at all these wonderful places. You'll have plenty of options in Chiang Mai, and we are sure that the food will be a highlight of your trip. We plan to make a new video every week, so please subscribe if you like this video.